Hi, I'm George. I'll be showing you how to change the color of hair in a photograph. We'll do just a few things here. Here's my original. There's a blue. Here's a blonde look. Here's a black, red, and back to our normal again. Now make sure you hit that subscribe button. Take a look at my complete course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there. And let's get to this. Okay, first thing I'll do is just to remove all of those layers up here, trash all that stuff, choose OK. Now, if you're doing this in Photoshop Elements 15 and later, it's a little bit easier, but it can still be done in earlier versions as well. It's just that we have layer groups in 15 and later. First step in here is to select out the hair. Now I'll grab the zoom tool and let's just zoom in a bit, get a better view of that right about there is pretty good. This is the most important step of the whole process. If you have a good selection, it'll make everything look much better. I'll grab the lasso tool. Okay, we'll start up here at the top and then just Stay just a little ways outside of the hair like that. And work clear on the hair. There we go. We'll need to do a little bit of cleanup after this is done, but that's fine. That's part of the whole process. And work around the inside over here. And then we'll come down on the bottom. And in here a little bit like that. And I'm going to come up here and then just in here just a bit. That'll just help the selection work and then up around the side over here and back to the top and back to the beginning again right there there we go okay now i have my feathering set at one pixel let's go to refine edge now in refine edge i'm using the overlay this kind of a red color it's the easiest one to use of those i set this at smart radius and i'll give it a pixel of one that helps the edge just a little bit i'll leave everything else alone at this point there's your brush size right there if you want to change your brush size, it's down here, bottom left hand corner. This is fine for us. And then just come in and do short strokes. Start out further and then work your way in towards the hair if you need to. If you get it on one stroke, that's fine. And then just work your way around the hair. And there we go. That's good. Let's now set the output here to new layer with layer mask. Choose OK. Here's our layer with layer mask. Now notice we have a bit of softness up around in here and there's a bit of stuff in here and down over here the first thing to try on this is go over here to the layer mask side click on the layer mask side look for your light blue outline that means you're on that side and we're just going to increase the contrast in here now I'll do that with this tool right here this is the burn tool get this set for shadows and i have my exposure set at 50 percent you can see right here and then just brush right over that and that's going to increase the contrast basically darkening down that edge and any area that's kind of see-through a little bit it's going to make that more solid and that will give us a better effect in here now for our next step let's bring our background back in again go down here right click duplicate layer choose ok so you have a duplicate of the background let's hide that one and we have our background copy let's go up here to enhance come down to color and remove color. So you have a gray version and a color version. Because we're in 15 or later, it has a layer groups right here. I'll select these two layers, hit that layer group button, puts them into a group. Let's just make this one red. We'll start off with the red coloration. And here we go. Now notice that when I change this to black and white, we now have black in here, kind of a black color on the hair. I want to change that over to a red. So for that, go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and hue saturation, where it says use previous layer. Check that box, choose okay. Click on colorize and then make sure your slider is all the way to the left. This will change the color of your hair right there. So you have all kinds of different colors in there. We'll go clear to the left bit more saturation on that one. There we go. You can adjust your lightness or don't do too much with your lightness. We'll fix that with a second step. Okay, that looks good. Close that down. Now back up to layer, back to adjustment layer, this time levels. Same thing, check that checkbox, choose OK. And we'll do our values right here. Bring the black setup, we'll darken down your darks. And the middle one will take care of your midtones. So I use these two to balance out the overall look of the hair right in here. If you go too far, it's going to be blocky like that. So don't take these too far. Just a little ways in and a little adjustment in there. And then if you want to bring back your highlights, that's the right side and that will brighten up your highlights. So there we go. There's kind of a nice red tone. If you want to change the tone, you can go back to your hue saturation there, double click on the icon. That brings us back up again and you can then adjust the color right here and your saturation. I think that's kind of a fun color right there. All right, now that we have one done, the rest are easier. I'll just collapse that layer, right click and duplicate group. Let's call this one black. Here we go. Now on this one, let's go into the hue saturation and just take saturation, clear to the left and remove that. Here's kind of a gray look, that's okay. So hue all the way to the left, saturation all the way to the left, close that down, 
back up here to our levels and then adjust your levels in here to get the right value you want for the black hair. And I think that looks pretty good right about there. There is a nice black hair on that. And these are both darker than the skin, so there's no problem up along the hairline here. Once I go to the blonde, that's going to be a bit of a problem. So you'll see that in just a second. Okay, back to the red. Right click, duplicate that group. Let's do this one as our blonde hair. The most difficult of the whole process is the blonde. Open this one up. I'm going to hide the black layer. And let's hide the red layer down there. Back into our hue saturation. And then the hue controls the color. So pull it over towards the right to get kind of a blonde look. You may need to adjust if you go too far, it begins going green. It's a real subtle spot right in here someplace. Get that just right. You can bring your lightness up. Be careful your lightness to go too far, it gets blocky looking. But bring it up just a little bit and you can adjust your saturation a little bit in here. And just rock that hue back and forth to get a pretty good color. I think that's pretty close right there. Now it's too dark still, it's not really quite right yet. So back to our levels adjustment, double click, bring this one up. And this time, come in here with the right side a lot and then move your mid control up a bit and then a bit more on your black. So just balance these out until you get the right look for your blonde hair. And it's somewhere in there I think is pretty good. Now with the blonde, you may want to go back and forth a bit between your levels in here and your hue saturation to get just the effect that you want. And there's more color, there's less color. So it's a bit of a back and forth process. I think that looks pretty natural right in there. A little more lightness to tone down some of that shadowing. There we go. Now with the blonde hair, you're going to have these dark shadows down here and up around here that don't look right. We can fix these with a little bit of clone stamp tool. This is mostly showing up on the original image. The hair is on top. So the trick here, I'll just do just part of this to show you the process and you can then do more of this on your own imagery is to come in here, grab some of this coloration and move it in onto that area there. Just kind of clone stamp that out. So clone stamp tool. Let's make sure we're on our right layer, which is this layer right here. There we go. And then just paint in. Now it's not going to clone into the hair because the hair is on top of this layer. So don't worry about that. We're just painting out that shadow underneath that hair. And then just come in and clone out that shadow and that will take care of that problem. It's just that easy to do. And right back in here like that. You may want to adjust your brush size and spend some time on this again. It's more of that right down here. Same trick, just come in and clone stamp in to remove that odd shadowing. And same trick down here for the shirt, just clone stamp in. Grab some clean shirt and bring that up into the area that you want to clean up just like that. Okay, so that's how to do the blonde hair. Let's see how that looks. I'll go back here to fit screen. Looks pretty good. Let's now do a color version and that's easiest done from the blonde hair. So right click, duplicate that group, choose OK. Hide the blonde, open this up, back to our hue saturation and then simply move your hue over until you find the color that you want. Maybe like right in here someplace. Get a good color for that. Close that down back up to your levels and then do a fine tune on your levels. Somewhere in there I think is pretty good. Okay, and there you go. That's how you can colorize hair very easily here inside of Photoshop Elements. There's our blonde, there's our redhead, there's the original. Make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, take a look in the description for my complete training course for Photoshop Elements, and I'll see you next time.